In this video, I'll walk through the new and improved installation process for Fabric. Fabric is about integrating AI into life and work. It's an open source project on GitHub I discovered. And even as a non-coder, I was able to get the thing working. The question is, thank you very much for the beginner tutorial. On GitHub, why am I not seeing the folders you're referencing? Have they moved? And the answer is yes, they've moved. There's this note Feb 16th. It's now far easier to install and use Fabric. So today I'll jump into those instructions so you can get this project working for yourself. Let's go. The first thing we need in step one is a place for our code to live. So let's make a new folder and call it day one. Now we head over to the terminal in VS Code and navigate to that folder. Step one is in the book. Step two, git clone from GitHub. I've never done this from the terminal until today. Done. Next, enter Patrick's main directory. OK. Install poetry. Run setup.sh. Restart your shell to reload everything. I didn't know what that meant, so I asked ChatGPT, and it said close and reopen the terminal. So I'm going to try hitting this garbage bin, kill terminal, start a new one. All right. And let's get to the right file folder. So I'm going to try step seven now, fabric setup, and enter an API key. I'll grab that and be right back. The API key is now my clipboard, so I'll paste it in. In recording this demo, I hit a GitHub API rate limit exceeded error message. It says, please wait before trying again. This is because I got the thing working before recording. So what you see when it works is exactly like nine minutes and 30 seconds into my prior video where it says downloading patterns. And then when it's done, you're ready to proceed into the next steps with step eight fabric help. So let's go to a clean terminal and I'll pick up from there. So we're in the day one folder, but I want to get into fabric. So I'll say CD fabric. All right. And now let's try fabric help. That worked, that's step eight, and now we're ready to try a pattern. So scrolling down in the instructions, let's try uh, summarize, that's a good one. Copy that, paste it in. Now we need some text on our clipboard to summarize. So I'm gonna grab this text transcript right here from my blog, copy, and let it rip. And it worked. So there's the proof. It is super easy to install. Try it out yourself. And this is day one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.